So, hello everybody. Kevin Orchard here, hypnotherapist, NLP practitioner, occultist, experienced esoteric chap. Um, what other labels can we throw at me? Nutter, artist, free thinker, comedian, funny man, humorist. I like to think so. My audience would differ. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, musician, well, songwriter perhaps, um, but none of those really matter, do they? Um, one of the things I've always taken an interest in, being a bit of an occultist, is astrology, and we've just come out of Saturn retrograde, and hasn't that been a journey, folks? Now, we're just about to go into the darkness, so good timing, really, to come out of a Saturn retrograde, because if we'd have gone into the darkness of winter, those short, dark nights, those long, dark nights, sorry, those short days, and a Saturn retrograde, I think the world would have burned. I really do, especially with what's going on at the moment, with... Um, the jibber jabber and the, um, the people on the telly saying ivermectin is no good. Um, it's not a good treatment. Well, it's always been a treatment. It's always been a good treatment for COVID when used with other drugs. Um, oh, I said the co-word. Probably get it lost now. Probably lose the video. Anyway, I don't care. Um, so, yeah, it's been... It's been interesting watching the telly. They've told you ivermectin's rubbish, even though the bloke who invented ivermectin won a Nobel Prize for inventing it. Because it is such a successful drug that's prescribed daily. But of course that goes against the, the agenda of giving everybody this jibber-jabber. Whether you think it's poisonous, whether you think it's a good thing, whatever... The rate of survival for this so-called virus, the pathogen that is around at the moment or isn't around, whatever you believe, and I'm not telling you what to believe, whatever you believe, it's got a high it's got a high survival rate anyway. So, what I mean, I don't take any flu jabs. I never, pardon me, I never have done. I don't feel the need to. I spend a lot of time outdoors. I try and keep my testosterone levels high with physical labour as much as my body allows me to. Um, I'm aware of my vitamin C levels and my zinc levels and everything like that. I don't always eat healthy, but I am aware when I'm not and I try and readjust when needed. Um, so, yeah, I don't take the flu jab. But I do want to talk a little bit about this um, Saturn retrograde that we've come out of and the darkness that we're going into of winter. For me, this last period has been, and if, if you've benefited from it, you'll, you'll agree, just make sure the light's on the shot, um, you'll agree that it's been a time of, of going backwards, really, to go over what, you've, what you thought you'd healed and what you thought you'd processed. Um, and they always say, don't they, these wise, these wise buggers, they always say that the medicine you need is in the cave that you fear to enter. It's all right entering the cave and finding the fear, but sometimes you've got to live it. Um, you know, you can't do everything in your head. And certainly that's the period of Saturn retrograde for me has been a period of integration, integrating the shadows. Uh, but to do that, I couldn't just do it on a cerebral level. I had to. I had to go into it. I had to dive into it. I had to live it. I had to become that shadow me that was lurking around for years that wouldn't heal. I had to. I had to go into it. I had to become my twenty-three-year-old self. And my twenty-three-year-old self was a very angry, very explosive ball of chaos. A lovely chap. But a ball of chaos, all the same. Um, and a few explosive events happened. Um, and while they were happening, I was aware that, fucking hell, I'm being 23 here, what's going on? So I've got the awareness and the knowledge of where I am, but living that out 
as if it's a theatre or a play as I shed that bit of the skin. Um, it wasn't easy, but I knew I had to do it. And circumstances forced me to face it. I've been without a vehicle for a couple of months. So I've done a lot of walking and a lot of grounding and I've been forced to to face this and to go through it. And I knew all the time while it was going on I had to face it. So I guess what I'm trying to say here is um, as you come into the darkness, everybody out there, as you come into the darkness and if you've still got some work to do with Saturn while you're in the shadow period of the retrograde, Go into it, dive into it, let it be you for a while. Don't fight it, go with it. It'll always bring you back to shore. It's like surfing a wave, you just gotta let it. Sometimes you can fight against the current, and sometimes you've gotta let it throw you. You've gotta let it throw you back to shore because it always will. Just go with it, go with it, let it, let it flow. Even if it feels wrong at the time, do it. Have the guilt, learn the lessons go through the emotions and then come back to shore and sit in the peace and quiet and relax so yeah I'm not sure if that made any sense to anybody but I'll put it out there anyway hope you're all having a fantastic weekend um, I've just ordered my mask for Halloween off the Clinton Foundation so I'm looking forward to that I think See you all soon.